Hello channel friends, this is W Copeland 38 and today I'm doing a review and I'm outside of the new Kershaw 1940X compound. It's black with G10 handles and it's got a plain blade. Of course it does have the speed safe opening and it's a very very nice knife. Notice the curve on it low belly is kind of a little bit of recurve and then a really low belly here of course there's the uh, flipper the really nice uh, G10 handles there it goes now let's get down to the specs on it, it has a blade length of three and a half inches it has a closed length the four and five eighths inches. That's a little bit long. It has an overall length of an eight and a quarter, eight and one eighth inches, and the weight is uh, three point eight ounces. But it's a very, very nice uh, utility knife. Very, very good. Now it's not too long that you actually couldn't use it for uh, concealed carry. It'd be just a little bit to the large side, but but not too large. Not not. Not the way the tremor was. The tremor was pretty good size and it wouldn't be very suitable for a concealed carry. Now here's the uh, pocket clip. It is reversible. Tip or tip down carry. Of course it's got a liner lock, locking system. Give you a little view of that. There you go. It opens with a lot of authority. When you hit that flipper, that blade comes open in a rush. Now, the blade is heat treated and is, like I said, it's the 8CR13 MOV. That's a pretty popular uh, stainless steel now. Kershaw is using it more and more. It's got a nice smooth blade. Oh, it holds uh, sharpness quite well. It uh, does quite a good job. Of course it's glass filled nylon, otherwise known as the G10. Now it's not a completely open design, it does have a bit of an opening here, but it's filled in on the back. So if you have to clean it, if it gets really really dirty, you'll be in there with the Q-tip. But this is a really nice knife. I would consider it almost like a good, uh, good for fishing, the way it's, the way it's got the nice bow in it. Got the wide belly. Very, very nice blade. Very nice knife. Now if you notice, I'll show you here. Got a bit of a pistol grip to it. You can get in there and hold it just right. I'll get my hand here where you can see it real well. And this blade is really sharp. Very, very sharp. Right out of the box. Get a little view there. I was quite impressed with it when I first started uh, trying it. I can't hardly wait. I, I'm not the type that's going to be doing too many actual unboxings. It's a very, very nice knife, and it's part of the set that uh, Kershaw has come out with. There was four of them. This is the second in the series. My first one was the Tremor, and the next one's the Asset. They have another one out that they call the drone, and they're they're very very nice knives. Really good, good. The others are pretty good for concealed carry. I'm going to give you a nice little close up of the handle. Here's the Kershaw with the speed safe. Very very good. Uh, edge on this thing. 1940 is patented and yes it's made in China but maybe someday they'll have them manufactured here like uh, CRKT is and I'm going to be doing a few videos on the CRKTs I'm going to start picking up a few of them to do I'm going to be looking out for some really good deals this was on Amazon and it was about twenty dollars plus the shipping so was a really really good deal. There's the lanyard hole. There you go. Nice little hole for the lanyard. 
There's your pocket clip. Like I said, it's a reversible. Now, what the really need to know is how sharp is it? Knives can look real nice, but if they're not sharp, not going to be much fun. But here's a piece of paper. Very good. That was me. There we go. Try one more time. Excellent. Piercing. No trouble there. Do one more. Very, very sharp. Now I haven't touched it. I just took it out just to do this video. Now it does need a little bit, a little bit of a touch right there. It's a little bit not as sharp as it should be. It's not as it's not quite as sharp as the tremor was. Now let's clean this up. Get this stuff out of the way. Now, let's try it on the paracord. My half inch paracord. Let's see how it does on this. Wow. No trouble there. Should I try one more time? Yeah, why not? We walked right through that. Whoop, missed the spot. Operator error on that. Well, good on looks, great on use. Did pretty good on the paper test. Excellent on the paracord test. That was half inch. The same one I used on the uh, tremor. And it's got a really nice look with this, uh, with the handle, with the uh, pistol grip style on it. It's got the nice little niche. The flipper acts as a stop for your finger. Now there's no, no jimping at all on it. It's for a hindsight. An excellent knife for at an excellent price from Kershaw. This is W Copeland 38 saying, check it out. Might suit uh, what your needs are, a good utility knife around the house or fishing. And this is W Copeland 38 saying, I'll be back.